When data is imported or copied into an Excel spreadsheet, unwanted characters or words can sometimes be included with the data. To overcome this problem, we can use two functions, substitute or replace. Substitute differs from the replace function in the sense that it is used to exchange specific text at any location in the selected data, while replace is used to replace any text that occurs at a specified location in the data. Let's do the replace function first. Equals replace. We have four parameters. Old text is a piece of data that you want to change, which is in cell A2. Start number specifies the start position of the characters in the old text that you want to replace. Let's say we want the start position to be 12. Number of characters specifies the char number of characters to be replaced from the start number mentioned previously. Let's say we want to replace 4 characters. New text specifies the new data to be added. So quote, we want a new data, let's say replace, quote, close parenthesis, enter. So the word text has been replaced by the word replace. There is another variant of this formula which I'd like to explain you. Let's copy this formula into the cell below. So in the last argument that is the new text, if you want to remove the unwanted characters and just want a blank space instead of that, you just put two quotes and press enter. So here, the word text has been removed and it is put as a blank. Now let's see how the substitute function works. Equals substitute. Again we have four parameters text is the data containing the text to be replaced which is in cell A6. Old text refers to the text to be replaced. So I want to replace the word text comma new text is the text that will replace the old text so I want to say I want to use the word uh, substitute and the fourth argument is an optional argument. We'll see how it works later. Let's close this formula and press enter. As you can see, the all the instances of old text have been replaced by the new text. There are some other variants of this formula. I'll show you how it works. First copy the formula to the remaining cells. Now, if we want to use the fourth argument of this formula which is the instance number. The instance number if included specifies the instance of the text which we want to replace. So suppose I want to replace the first instance of the text. Then the formula will replace the first 
instance of the old text into the new text. Suppose I want to replace the second instance of the text. Then only the second instance of the old text is replaced. Similarly, if I want to replace the third instance, you can see only the third word text is replaced. If you omit the instance as we have done in the first formula, then every instance of old text is replaced with the new text. Now we need to understand when to use these functions. Substitute function should be used when you know the text to be replaced. Replace function should be used when you know the position of the text to be replaced.